Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing this really bright eye makeup look for you. I was just, um, I don't know, I was thinking I was about due for a really bright summer look. And I wanted to do something that was really wearable, but seriously, like, really punchy and bright and fun. Obviously you can use the same technique with different colors, whatever colors you want. Um, but I just went with, like, purple and blue because I think, honestly, I was inspired by that last video I just uploaded on the zebra nails. Because it's, like, the same exact color of those nails, kind of. I really, really love the Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner Pencil in Sapphire Strength. This pencil is unbelievable. Seriously, when you smudge this out, it is like gorgeous, vibrant, like HD blue. And so really, I just kind of built this entire look around this eyeliner, and I wanted to kind of create kind of an ombre, like tie-dye look on my eye, because this is so vibrant, and when you layer um, different colors, like that are still kind of in the same color family like purples and pinks and things on top of this eyeliner it looks so amazing so it really reminded me of that kind of like yeah like that ombre look very summery I don't really know what I'm gonna call this look but it's probably gonna be something along those lines and uh, but really it's just like a blue and purple fun look for summer so I'm gonna show you all the products that I use and try to explain it the best I can so um, stick around I'll show you all the steps First thing I did to get this look was use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden. Um, it's upside down. But it looks like that. I really like the way that this primer looks underneath the eyeliner pencil I'm about to use. And I actually took that all the way around my eye, even underneath the lower lash line, because we're going to put um, a lot of color there. I took my Maybelline um, Master Drama Eye Pencil in the color Sapphire Strength. Like I said, especially over top of that primer, it just really pops. And I'm going to mostly focus the most width of um, the shape that I'm drawing in the outer third. Like that, it doesn't really matter. But I just want to get it on kind of thick in the outer corner so you get a little bit of dimension. Since this is really pigmented, I'm just barely going to bring it down into that outer, um, or the lower lash line, I mean. And then you can use a brush. Usually I try to warm it up a little bit with my finger. And see how even when you start to smudge it out, it's still really, really vibrant. It's such a bright blue. You could just stop here and do this kind of really punchy blue eyeliner look and just leave it at that, I think. I'm not like really going back and forth. I'm just kind of dabbing over the same areas to warm up the um, eyeliner and then it kind of starts to move around on its own. Now I'm just using the very bottom of my finger to just like diffuse the color along the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Vibrant Grape, and it looks like that, and I'm going to get that on the end of, that's my MAC, by the way, and I'm going to get it on the end of an E55 brush from Sigma, it's just like a denser shader brush, and you can see when I start packing the color on top of that really, um, on top of that really bright blue eyeliner, you get a really pretty effect. I think, personally, it looks like tie-dye. My intent wasn't actually to cover the entire lid with this. Um, you want to think more about like just smudging that liner with your shadow, but um, I did kind of take it up pretty far, so I'm going to have to blend it out in a second, but so for right now I'm just going to continue to layer that color on top of the blue eyeliner. I'm going to take Mylar, which looks like that, just like a flesh tone um, shade, and I'm just going to use Mylar to kind of soften out the edges of that purple so it kind of looks like it's fading up more towards my crease than actually covering the whole lid. I'm also going to really um, apply that to the inner corner and kind of pull it back along my lower lash line like that. If you want, you can go back in with that Vibrant Grape color again with the same brush. Make sure that purple really stands out just by applying it again kind of at the lash line. And, and this is a large fluffy sable blending brush from Coastal Scents. Um, just using that to kind of blend out the outer V area a little bit. Okay, so even though we used um, our Mylar kind of highlight shade to blend out this purple, we didn't actually apply a highlight color, so I'm going to use the exact same brush we used with it last time, the Sigma E70, and just go in with a little bit more of Mylar and just highlight the inner corner. So I'm going to highlight my inner corner, highlight my brow bone, and then kind of sweep it back along my lower lash line again. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my crease color. I'm actually using an E25 Travel Blending Brush from Sigma, and I'm going to use a little bit of Embark by MAC, which looks like that, 
and just get it on the end of that crease brush. I'm just going to sweep it up into the crease like that and embark is kind of just like a reddish brown so you just want to pick up where that dark navy liner in the outer corner kind of leaves off and continue that shape up into your crease and then I'm going to take a little bit of wedge which looks like that on that same fluffy sable blending brush and I'm just going to apply that almost all the way up to my eyebrow like out kind of feathered out like that blends out that crease color really well next thing I'm going to do is take my Stila Eye Codule in Onyx and line my upper waterline and then deposit a little bit of it on the lash line then with my small angle E65 brush I'm just going to like blend the eyeliner all around into the base of all my lashes then I'm going to apply it to my waterline like that and make sure I kind of blend that in with this brush as well okay so that's what we have so far and I'm actually going to take some of um, Carbon Eyeshadow by MAC, and all the colors I've been using in this video are by MAC, by the way. It's right there. Any matte black will work. I just like this one because I'm really sensitive to black eyeshadows that make my eyes water. Um, and I'm just using this on a Studio Gear number 37 brush. And you can find this brush at Ulta. And all I'm doing is going right exactly over where I placed that Stila Eye Cajal into my waterline. and on the upper lash line as well. I even take it all the way into my inner corner. Um, you might want to be careful with that area, but I don't find that it causes me. I think that it actually ends up looking a lot better in the long run if I just venture in there and try to set up, um, set my eyeliner in the inner corner. So for my mascara, I'm actually using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara, and this stuff is unbelievable. It's always really hard for me to do my mascara into the camera, <laughs> um, so I might end up with more on my face than my actual lashes, but that's okay. I really, really love this mascara. Um, if you like full-blown, like dramatic, false lashes look with your mascara, you are going to love this. So to finish off this look, I used my favorite bronzer, the Laura Mercier Dune Bronze bronzing powder, which the little dunes in it have long since started to fade, but you can kind of still see. And I took that on my Jumbo Chisel Powder Brush from Coastal Scents, just applied it like that around my temples and connected that down to my cheeks, dotted it on my chin, and tapped a little bit on the end of my nose. For blush, I think I'm going to use Melba, which is a really pretty peachy color um, by MAC. And I'm using an angle blush brush from um, Coastal Scents, I think. Yeah. Sometimes what I like to do if I'm going for more of like a intense look like this is actually take my blush all the way up to my temples. I think it's actually really flattering when your blush is kind of framing your eye like that. Um, if you do go overboard on it, which I do sometimes, so I like to keep this. I'll just use the same brush as I use for my bronzer and I like to keep my mineralized skin finish by MAC on hand. So I just kind of take that and like brush backwards across my blush and my bronzer. And for my lip color, I actually just applied this. But um, I use the Revlon, I think this is the Color Burst, I think this is the Color Burst lipstick, the quilted one, and the color is Soft Nude, it looks like that. This is like a great apricot tone nude. And on top of that, I use MAC Lip Glass and See Through. Um, this is one of my all-time favorites, just like a very flesh tone shade, it kind of brightens up any kind, well not really brightens up, yeah, it kind of nudifies any kind of um, lipstick that you layer it on top of. So I really like those colors a lot. So I think I covered all the bases. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I kind of feel that way all the time. But anyways, chickadees, that about does it for me. I don't know, I just want to do something colorful and fun for summer, and I hope you guys liked it. Um... Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.